Hello, my name is Murphy Fair. I publish the Tennessee High School Football Magazine. I live in Cannon County, and the Cannon County Lion Football Program is especially uh, uh, near and dear to my heart because that's where I live. We're here for a special occasion today uh, because Jeremiah Mooningham is uh, getting ready to sign a letter of intent with Bethel University located in West Tennessee in the community uh, of McKenzie. Jeremiah has been an important part of the Lion football program here in Woodbury and uh, I know his coach TJ Daniel is going to be uh, looking for a replacement real soon but Jeremiah did a great job in both the offensive and defensive lines. Uh, his parents and grandparents are with us and uh, Jeremiah I think you have a letter of intent right here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put your signature on the dotted line, so to speak. That pretty well makes it official. Jeremiah will be the second person uh, in the history of Cannon County football to sign with the Bethel Wildcats. Uh, B.J. Daniel uh, is just finishing up his first year over there. Uh, so he's going to at least have a former Cannon County Lion over there with him. And uh, the, the entire senior class football team is here with us today for the signing. Uh, guys, let's congratulate Jeremiah for his work. <laughs> Finishing up on the uh, ceremony here at Cannon County High School where Jeremiah Mooneyham uh, has just signed the letter of intent to play his uh, collegiate football at Bethel University in McKenzie and uh, Jeremiah I know you hate to see your high school career come to an end but it's a new stage in your life and I know you've got to be really excited. Uh, yeah it's pretty exciting to be able to move on to a, you know college you know I mean I'm gonna miss all these guys and I love them all you know it was fun to play one-year football and all the memories and experiences we had together. Tell us what uh, impressed you about the Bethel Wildcat program not only their football program but the academic side as well. And they had, they had they had exactly what I wanted to do in the master's program and everything. And I mean, it's a really beautiful campus, and it's a really nice school overall. And they have a, everybody I talk to that you know goes there and stuff has really been pleased with it. So, and one of your former teammates, B.J. Daniel, the uh, uh, the brother of the head coach here, is already over there. Have you all had some conversations about what it's going to be like rejoining one of your former high school teammates over there? Yeah, we talked about it. And it's pretty exciting. I mean, I mean, B.J. are pretty close and. It's, it's going to be fun to go over there and play football with him and, you know, get to know somebody that goes to another college. TJ, uh, I know this has got to be a proud day for you. As we mentioned, uh, uh, you, your brother uh, BJ is already over there and uh, uh, having another Cannon County Lion uh, wearing the Bethel uniform next year is pretty special. Yeah, it's any time a kid goes to college at next level, no matter where it's Tennessee or Bethel, it's always a special day and it's, it's kind of special to us because and me because he gets to go back and play with one of his teammates. So, I mean, it, it's pretty special. I know you played collegiately at UT Martin, which is just a stone's throw uh, a little farther west than uh, than McKenzie. Uh, Time-wise, uh, from Woodbury to McKenzie, how long a drive is that? About three hours. I mean, easy. If you drive straight, three hours, you can make it pretty easy. I ask that question because if anybody is out there watching who wants to uh, watch Mr. Mooneyham uh, further his career at uh, Bethel, uh, it's a great drive over to West Tennessee to, to watch the Wildcats play, and we're all very proud of his accomplishments, and I wish you very well uh, in, your, in your next stage of life at the college level, Jeremiah. Thank you.